All right, everybody, what up? It's Popper MTG, Yo Soy, two hombres, Dan, E Rob. <laughs> Playing some sweet uh, madness uh, thing. I don't know, madness yeah. hellbent uh, dredge deck. Um, we're on the draw this time. Looking at this hand, it seems pretty good. I don't think we can throw it back. I'm going to keep it. Keep it. Uh, we've got four lands. We can. He's on to, down to five already. He's already lost. He's definitely not playing blue light control. <laughs> he skipped his draw step like a fool. Uh, he does, you know, there might be, he can go for an island or a swamp with, uh, that Evolving Wilds. He could go for anything with that Evolving Wilds. It could be whatever the hell he wants it to be. But ours looks nicer, so here's. <laughs> uh, his is foil, though. What do you do? Uh, do you win? We're gonna go ahead. He waits for his second main phase to crack the Evolving Wilds. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really bad. Uh, he must have been trying to get a land, which he... Hit oh, probably uh, one of the best lands he could have hit, actually. Sure. This guy's in with the sweet foil, sweet foil list here. So uh, get that swamp out. Gonna go ahead and run out our. Really not hoping to hit that land. Thing. That's fine. Uh, you got plenty of things to drop to wild mongrel. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I don't really mind discarding lands to wild mongrel, but I would rather not do it if possible. You know, I like to discard like a stinky thing. That would be good. Let's see though. Insolent neonate. Oh no. <laughs> He's copied my list. Fuck, well. Except he didn't copy it at all, but. Uh, do we want to discard the stink we have to get our dredge on a little bit? Do we want to dredge right now, or. What are the advantages of dredging right now? Yeah, I'm just gonna hit the top of the library, I think. Yeah, I think. That's better. Ooh, putrid leech. Okay, so now do we want to stink we damp or leech? Head leech. All right, that's fair. I'm gonna go ahead and swing in with this dude first. Sure. And uh, he's likely gonna block and do the discard thing. He's probably on reanimator or something like that. And if he is, uh, Stinkweed Imp gets a lot better. Yeah. Well, All right, let's see. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know very many decks that actually play this uh, color combination here, red black. Okay. Uh, we played it. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so he's some kind of madness. Oh, so he's thing. red black madness. He's getting back his neonate with the grave scrabbler, which is pretty good actually. I like that little combo action going. Look at the combo, yeah. That's crazy. He gets to draw a card, and he, and gets, he gets his grave scrabbler, and he gets the neonate back. And he doesn't take any damage. And he's not taking any damage. And he has a two-two. Well, we got a putrid leech, and we got a jungle hollow going up to twenty-one life. All right, so we've got the life advantage. We got the card advantage, not really. No, yeah. Um, Let's start dropping acorn harvests. There's nothing he's going to be able to do. Sure. He's, he's dead already. Uh, I wonder if this is a um, tortured existence deck. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I, I guess know. we'll. Uh, I guess we'll see, see if, he, if he just drops it right now. Okay, tormenting voice. Tormenting voice. It's carrying blood mad vampire. Oh, interesting. Okay, sure. Uh, that guy's not too good against acorn harvest. No. But uh, he does basically get to draw two cards for free, though, and get a 4-1, so not, not the worst. You can't hate on that. Another okay. land. Uh, all right. I'll tell you what I can do, though. I can hate on... What, should I just attack with the Wild you thing? No. Should I attack with anything? I... I just ate for Harvest on my item. I don't know. I, I kind of want to get things going here. All right. Depending on how, yeah, okay, so everyone's just gonna come in. Okay, sure. Let's get this poppin', as they say. We are popper MTG after I all. Get, well, he's popper or bust, so who's better? Oh god. Well, I guess we'll find out if he busts. He's <laughs> about to bust a nut all over us. Uh, this guy's deck is pretty sweet, though. Okay, so yeah, well. I think I'm just gonna discard the jungle hall here, maybe? Or, no, I think I'll do the forest. Okay, sure. And he's gonna be blue this time. Sure. No whitewashing our cards along with our movies. And uh, stick the acorn harvest. Uh -huh. Stick the landing. All right. So we've got two one-one squirrels. It doesn't get much better than that on turn five or turn four again. Well, we're in for four turn after this. Wow. Let's see, <laughs> plays more cards. He's not gonna do that. He's afraid. He's got six cards in hands, but he's like, God, they're all just straight fucking garbage. Uh, I'm thinking about in my upkeep maybe discarding the Stinkweed Dimp and dredging it back. Well, if you're gonna do that, you should just drop it instead of the forest. 
I guess, but this way it becomes a 3-3 on my next turn. Mm. So, do I have stuff on that? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Operation Mongrel Stinky Dimp is a go. Stinky Mongrel. <laughs> Alright, he, he's playing his Neonate again. He is playing his Terminate again, targeting my Wild Mongrel. Uh, the question is, do I want to discard my Stinky? <clears throat> no. Hmm. The answer is no. I'm not going to do that. Okay, sure. Alright. This guy's actually playing a fun deck, Dan. I wonder what that <laughs> If you've ever experienced a feeling like this. Can't remember the last time I had fun. <laughs> Ooh, crippling fatigue. Yeah. Uh, check this sick play out. No. <laughs> okay. Here comes the squirrels. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, man, all these eating effects look pretty bad. He doesn't have any. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's the just... terminates aren't very good. I'll give it that, but he's playing possum. <laughs> he's sandbagging his eating effects because he has to. Yeah. All right, we got crippling fatigue ready to go here. Yep. Somehow we're at less life than him. <laughs> I wonder why he took the trade when he, he doesn't want to draw He didn't even card. discard either, yeah. Well, he used to discard a card from his hand to draw the card. So maybe he has a good hand. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, he's so, got another one. He's just got another one. That's, sure. that's why he took the trade, obviously. Okay. I suppose, yeah. Jungle Hollow. Okay, he can start running these out now, I think. Uh, do you want to lose a squirrel token to this guy or do you want to burn a crippling fatigue right now? I would not burn a crippling fatigue on that. I'd save it if you got more of those four ones. Oh yeah, that's true. Why is Dan? In fact, I'm willing to bet that a lot of his cards are going to die to crippling fatigue. Alright, here comes the team. <laughs> the motley crew of squirrels and stinky. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one to have. Yeah, yeah. Get back. You can just start chaining these together, actually, with Grave Scrabblers. No, wait, can he? What did he get back here? Do we know yet? Uh, we don't know yet. Blood Mad Vampire. Blood Mad Vampire, okay, yep. Right on, okay. So you were correct in that, uh, Yep, right yep. There. Um... Oh, and he gets to block a squirrel token. Oh my Shit. god. He's gonna whittle down our army. Do we want to kill this thing? No. Okay. Alright, the squirrel token's staying on D now. Yep. Squirrel's known for their strong defense. Alright, he's got the Blood Mad Vampire in It's a 4 one. Uh, what else do you have? Do I want to just kill both his creatures next turn? I don't care, sure. He's only got two cards left in hand. That is not a bad one either. Uh, if you're gonna do that though, you should have uh, crippling fatigue. Oh, it's a sorcery, never mind. Yeah. Uh, God, that card sucks. What do we want to do here? Uh, you cannot crippling. Oh no, you can still do it. Yeah. Uh, we're not. Gir well, we could Gurmag Angler, but I like the idea of just killing his shit first. I'm gonna kill one copy of this, and I'm just gonna swing the stick lead up and leave this guy in D, I think, these things. Sure. Look at him, clutch into their tree, ready to defend the forest. And, uh, why don't we go ahead and push, push the damage? One, two, three, four. We got two five, cards six, left. Seven. Wait, how much? You're right. Because this way we'd have to exile the crippling fatigue to even cast this guy, so let's go ahead and just burn this guy out here. Yep. You're dead. Did we play a land yet? No, but it could simply tapped. Some part of me thinks we're both hoping for a tortured existence top deck. No. I don't think you were correct. Although he's confirmed his plan. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him he's about to bust. <laughs> Do it. Say that for when we win, just be like, looks like you're a bust. Because <laughs> otherwise we talk shit and then we lose. Uh, we just look really dumb. Okay, so definitely on Tortex here. Gorgon Recluse. Alright, he's got his 2-4 with Death Punch. That's pretty good, actually. 
That blocks Gurmay Gangway. Non black creature. Oh, really? Yeah, it's bad death touch. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that ain't too bad. <laughs> I don't mind that. Don't. Stop casting cards. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, this deck actually seems kind of decent. I like this deck. Card draw, it's got. It's got all the right moves. Gurmag Angler, okay. Well, we've got an angler for him to Gurmag soon. <laughs> Why do you Gurmag this angler? Alright, so uh, let's see here. Uh, four cards. Alright, let's get rid of this. This. Pay this. Got the Gurmfather down. Undo that. <laughs> Do this again. Yep. Uh, do we want to swing in with the snake we did? Uh, no. You sure? I'm sure. Why? Because then we block our mag angler and kill it. Yeah, but if he attacks with a mag angler, we can still crack back and do like really damage. I'm just gonna attack him. Okay. Make an executive decision here. Okay. But I mean, if he attacks, it's not that sure. So you want him to swing And, and swing even if that happens, we can still just chop at the squirrel if we want to. <laughs> That's why it's in the deck. All right, just uh, whatever you do, don't hit me. <laughs> okay, not the best draw. Starting to fizzle out here. Uh, We've only got so many lands left in the deck. I'm just gonna swing with the Stinkweed and the Gurmag Angler. And, see and the Gurmag Angler. Because, uh, yeah, okay. okay. I'm, I'm settled on that play here. Sure. I'm gonna keep the Force in hand in case we hit Gap and Raiders. Yep, it's a good plan. Here they come. The A-Team. Come on, just die. Just roll over and die. Okay, he's not dead yet. That's true. Okay, he's got his Blood Mad Vampire down. Okay. He's mad with Blood. He's so mad. Yes! Hell yeah! Okay, so, uh... Now we're really getting going. Yeah, let's put some fucking Stinkweed in and just get busy. Sure. Life is a party. Okay, so, uh... Now so we've got him on a clock. Got him on a bit of a clock here. Uh, got the Molder Vine Cloak. This card is really good. <laughs> yes. Okay, he's gonna torment him, boys. I feel like he's second... gonna get like Kermag anywhere. It doesn't matter at this point. He's so close to being dead. That's true. He's gonna yield to him turn. I don't even care what you do. Sure, yeah. Draw some cards. Yeah, okay. Get back that Gurmag Angler. This guy just has infinite of these things, though. He's played so many times. He's, well... Look at this, it's like fucking three of them. Like, yeah. the top 25 cards of his library. Yeah, uh, well, he's drawn a lot, too. Okay, plays his mountain. He's got a swamp. He's got a Gurmag. <laughs> gonna have to deal with this guy, actually. You, yep, you're gonna have to do that. Alright, he's thinking about it. Popper our bust, my boy. He's keeping up Lightning Bolt. Even though he knows it can't even kill my own stuff and stick me in. It's true. Uh, do I want to jump here with the spell token? That's it, yeah. Okay, sure. I'm into that. Trade. Trade. Trade with me. Move all my wilds, that's not so good. But uh, it does uh, our deck. Our deck. yeah, sure. So uh, let's get another black source, I guess. I guess, it doesn't matter. We've got everything we've ever wanted, except for cards that aren't land. Alright, here comes the stink we did. Stink body. Can't block it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm expecting a concession here or another long time game. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's see. Let's concede. Uh, he rips Terminate off the top and just goes forever. All, All right, right. That was it. Uh, I'm feeling like Mill Spellbox. Oh, you forgot, to, you forgot to say the thing. Uh, I'm going to wait till I win the match for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Obviously. sure>. oh, okay. <laughs> um, is Nausea any good against him? No. No. Okay. So I just want Mill Spellbomb, really. Uh, what do I want to take out here, though? Um, Arrogant Worm doesn't seem quite as good as it could be. Uh, I'm not sure. Um... Okay, Athen Raiders is a 5-5 that trades with Gurmag and blocks pretty much everything he's trying to do. Um, or do you just want to go to 61 cards? Uh, the vampire Hounds. Goodbye, Vampire Hounds. Sure. Vampire Hounds has never been good. 
Well, it fits right in with this deck, then. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Alright, so uh, no black sources cannot keep this, but uh, the good news is we're on the draw anyway, so let's I go mean... ahead and mull. Okay, keep that. And we're gonna keep a second future leash. So... Oh, hell yeah, man. Okay, alright. All right, he's got the turn one evolving. Oh walls. my god! Well, we're about to see. I mean, this is basically just a redux. So we just do that. Ooh, he's gonna do it in response to waste Ooh. more of my time. <laughs> Listen, I have places to be. All right, I can't just sit here and play popper with you all day. <laughs> all right, so let's see that tortured existence from everybody. Uh, uh, we're gonna get off to. Ooh, there he goes. Uh, maybe I need a more general source of enchantment hate because that card is nuts. That card's insane. What does it do? I can't reach you. Uh, discard a creature card, return a creature card from the graveyard of your hand. Oh, uh, okay. So you can use that to like cycle grave crab and shit. And, and it can uh, enable madness. Okay. That's, it's quite good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't think. Uh, I think with his tortured existence, we don't have much of a shot here. Unfortunately, just because all these guys are basically immortal now. My immortal. <laughs> Stop. Why would you do that? <laughs> I drove my vampire car. Okay, goodbye, future leech. See, it's a good thing we kept another one, then. Yeah, alright. Uh, as it turns out, Tortured Existence is probably the way to go if you're building the red-black madness deck that me and Dan tried to do. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten about that. Alright, here comes the putrid leech. You thought you dealt with him. Uh, you don't even have a lot of madness in that deck, either, though. <laughs> Arrogant Worm. Seems like no matter what, when you build Madness, you just don't want to build Madness for I just want to have fun and play Magic. This card is not fun to play against. I actually hate this card looking at me from across the table. I don't want to see this. You're it's feeling like, tortured by its existence. <laughs> you might as well call this card Slow Grind. <laughs> there are... No, I was going to read the flavor text when you're back. Boys. There are terrors lurking in the unseen corners of us all. All right, I think it's a pretty safe block here. You can't. Oh, I can't. Shucks. <laughs> Don't you remember? That was why we love that card so much. Oh, yeah. That's how we win games. Uh, all right, so Shambling Shell. I guess that's fine. It's, uh, it's the really Shamblerino. Uh, he has that's mana. a lot of arrogant rooms, worms we got in that hand. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's a little bit too many. Imagine if we had the Tortured Existence right now. That'd be quite good. Uh, actually, because we have enough mana to activate the Tortured Existence and cast it. So well, I don't give a shit, Rob. I'm gonna go ahead and try pump here. Just fucking pump it. Yeah. I'd rather have this game end soon, just because I hate playing against Tortured Existence. Right. Uh, we've already come up with a snappy line to use against him when we win, so we can't lose this, though. Yeah, you're right. I gotta, I gotta make this go fast. We gotta slog it out. Lightning bolts. Okay, uh, that's what I was actually concerned about. So I didn't want to pump, but uh, I guess whatever. That's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna make it through this. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you for one again, though. No, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, mm. well, whatever. Uh, should I just like put in four knot of the bones and just try and time them out? <laughs> <laughs> Become the monster inside of us all. Uh, Alright, let's see what you got. Alright, Shambling Shell down. Ooh, another Neonate. Oh, he got it back with Grave Scrabbler, obviously. 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 That card is like built for Grave Scrabbler. That's why we weren't playing it. Uh, am I gonna drag you? Probably not. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I'd rather have this actually. Eh, this one's not looking great for us though. No, not quite, but uh, whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take our take our licks here. Guess what? Once we have two acorn harvest in play, we can block this neonate. <laughs> wow. That's fucking OP. <laughs> Bring me my machine gun. Uh, okay, so do we have a path of victory here? Uh, His tortured existence is looking pretty dead right now because he needs a creature in the yard for him to be able to uh, start activating it. But he's um, gonna be able to do that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right. He's probably going to be able to madness too. Fiery temper. Okay. Uh, that's probably not the one you want to be madnessing right now. Uh, he just bolts us for three because he thinks he's going to beat us down. He can't beat us down. It's impossible at this point. We will not bend or break. I'm going to go ahead and not dredge here. Ooh. All right. We're not going to actually cast that right now because he uh, has already shown that uh, he's incapable of even activating this. Sure. If the cards he discarded was like fucking fiery temper, it's like, eh, <laughs> not that concerned. Uh, next turn, we're just going to double block the insulin neonate, I think. Actually, no. That doesn't make sense. I might just actually throw one under the bus of Grave Scrabbler just so we don't activate his tortured existence. Sure. And then uh, once we stick an arrogant worm. Yeah, alright. So, uh, actually. Or you just take the two. It's three, but, um. Oh, you could take the extra two. Yeah, I think next turn we're gonna worry about trading and stuff. So let's take three here and take the extra two. Sure. Do you want a dredge back guy? I don't think so. I think we want to get five. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um, so, the spell bomb. I guess we just flat back the acorn harvest. Uh, that puts us in the danger zone. I'm fine with being in the danger zone. I All think right. he's uh, out of burn anyway. And uh, this way we leave up Nil Bell Bomb with the uh, draw card cost. Um, and we can start blocking his dudes. Okay, if he just goes Gurmag right now, that would be pretty bad. It would be pretty bad, yes. <laughs> he sacks that thing to Nemesis his dude. Is there any way we can order that so that, like... Uh, we can prevent him from getting his neonate back. Right. But uh, he's always going to have that 2-2, though. Is that a thing we want to do? Uh, I feel like now is as good as I'm going to wait for him to pay mana to do this here, just so we know he doesn't have a Twitch of Existence activation. Sure. Okay. That was the whole point, is that you didn't want to do that. I could target you with this. And what else here? Okay. Another marker. Okay, we did Jungle Hollow. <laughs> Danger Zone, you said? <laughs> Please, I have Jungle Hollow. Wait, did he? You didn't get it back, did you? He didn't. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and double block both, I guess. Sure. Do it like this. <laughs> All fancy like. That's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. So, let's kill both your guys. Actually, that was kind of dumb. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, he's just gonna start torturing you this thing now. It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> um, I still don't think we want to charge that. Yeah, I guess not. See, now we can start dropping arrogant worms like no tomorrow. <laughs> there is no tomorrow for arrogant worm. Uh, oh, ooh. Oh, tortured existence oh, okay. activation. Mm. Yeah, alright. Uh, well, wait a minute. I think it's madness cost. Yeah, he can't even cast that. Cool. I guess you can have your grave scrabbler now. He gets that back anyway. Let's nice do that next turn. Rakdos Carnarium. It's a pretty good draw, especially since he's so choked up on black here. Yes. Not so choked up that he didn't uh, return the run. There you go. Alright, well, uh, luckily we have uh, Crippling Fatigue to deal with some of this shit. And, uh, like I said earlier, Arrogant Worms all day, every day. Uh, that's a good time to have Arrogant Worms, I guess. What did you get out of his yard? What? What just happened? I don't know. He just lost all of his graveyard. Oh, is he Gurmag anyway? No. Probably not gonna dredge that back right now. Snakeweed, that's quite good. 
Alright, so let's just blast in with this guy. I don't know what the fuck just happened there, though. That was really strange, because, um... Well, <laughs> viewers, if you know what just happened there, <laughs> let me know. Alright, we're gonna trample over, hit him down to whatever, and go ahead and cast our other Arrogant Worm on main phase 2. Player Jungle Hollow. Gain some life here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do some kind of tricks with uh, Stinky Vamp at some point. <laughs> or Crippling Fatigue, rather. This guy's like, oh man, he's got so many Arrogant Worms, how do I deal? <laughs> Okay, he's getting back Grave Scrabbler and Gorgon Reckless. He's double Mandacing, but he can only play one. So mad. He wants the Reckless. Okay, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty good against those. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I see what he did. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I accept that. I don't care. <laughs> um, what we can do is we can Crippling Fatigue this and uh, then it doesn't deal any damage to my dude. Oh, when it becomes blocked. You could do it twice. I could do it twice. You could go down to a two. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit sh cancel, I guess? Yeah, I don't think we want the shambling. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna swing it at both. Push some damage here. Sure, <laughs> drop another one. And then just keep on dropping them. Right. Sure. No hesitation. Yep. And uh, just gonna go ahead and kill the guy. And he's gonna kill my guy. And we're gonna go ahead and drop fucking another one of them. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Yep. Keeping the chain alive here. <laughs> madness. What madness? <laughs> I thought it was just a five mana four four. I don't know. <laughs> this guy just has infinite of these. What the hell? I'm sure he's running it as a four of. Sure, yeah, you don't the turn. You got it. Do whatever you need to do, man. Blood man, vampire. Oh, he's so mad with blood. <laughs> uh, it could definitely eat our thing. Yep, and uh, we can play the flesh back next turn and hit him for eight, I guess. Might be okay. Maybe, well, keep in mind that's going to put us down to two, and he's got lightning bolt, and he also has that other lightning bolt. Yeah, I'm aware. But uh, the more time we give him, the more likely he's going to have those spells. He also has madness bolt. Madness <laughs> bolt. That's what it should have been called. Shainer's Edict, yikes. Okay. Second, I think I would actually love if that was called Madness Bolt. Uh, do you want the Shambling Shell this time? I love Shambling Shell. Yeah, cancel. <laughs> Dan likes it, I hate it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, okay, so, black, black, black. And, uh, let's fatigue his bloodback dude. dude, just so we can have some attacks going. Sure. Swing it for four. Then we start to get four. stanky. <laughs> now, now the stank butler is coming down. That's how you know shit's really getting real. It's like, oh god, no. <laughs> tortured existence. What tortured existence? Are we really gonna slog this out? We're getting our fucking asses kicked. Uh, yeah, I'll stick to this. Uh, I'm not gonna take yeah. Two. That's why I stick we did this here. But now he has enough to uh, flash back his chainers thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. Is no, that what he really isn't gonna do, do anything. Your turn? No, I don't know if he really wants to do that just to kill our thing. All right, let's see it. What are you? <laughs> okay. So, uh, you'll be happy to know, viewers, that Dan wasn't the only one to have to slog something out of this game. It's only game two. Yep, yeah. okay, he's got his, uh, two things now. Now he's feeling strong. He's feeling confident. <laughs> yeah, alright. This deck seems pretty good. I don't hate it. I like his, uh, use of the new cards. I, uh, just don't like playing against it, really. Okay, so now we got access to, uh, Stinkfather 1. And Stinkfather 2. Oh my god. Here they are. <laughs> and I got a third one in the yard if I need it back. <laughs> Jesus. We don't um, need tortured existence, we can just mill ourselves. Can you imagine when Gorgon Recluse and Stinky Dim fight? What happens? They both die. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stinkwood Imp wouldn't die from the effect, though. It would just die from the combat damage. He would just die normally. Yep. 
All right, I guess we've reached a stalemate. So kill me somehow, and then I'll scoop. <laughs> Ooh, another Rakdos Carnarium. Pretty good. Seems pretty, pretty good. I feel like having a lot of mana. Okay. This last Faithless is out of the yard. Let's see how many broken, how much broken shit he can do now. Dark Withering. Ooh, Doomblade. Pretty good. All right, so that that takes care of our worm. Yep. Okay. It only costs one, huh? That seems pretty bad if you don't have any way to uh, discard it. It's your deck, man. <laughs> For six. <laughs> Jesus. Well, he's got a ton of ways to discard it. So. All right. You gotta get. You gotta beat down eventually. And I gotta block your guys all the time, never stopping, never ceasing. Stack him up. Stack those stinkweed triggers. They should just redcon this one as Death Touch. <laughs> I agree. Uh, okay. So, what do, you, what do you have now? I suppose this way you can't set it up for Death Touch ping, but... Okay, he didn't have any madness that time. <laughs> I hate it when I run out of madness. Uh, okay, sure. So, let's go ahead and charge back. I guess Shamblin' Shell this time. Sure. Ooh, Acorn Harvest times two. I can want to play that, though. Uh, that would. I feel like he's just sitting on a lightning bolt that he's just waiting for us to dredge or do something stupid with. All right, here we go. We got him down. We're we're mad now. He's got a fuck ton of cards. <laughs> All right, I know we're we're helping. Help it, yeah. Help it, fuck. Terminate targeting this guy. Sure. Oh fuck. This was Doomblade. Or if it was that madness card, I could turn it black. Oh, there might you be cards card in this card though. Yeah, okay. Here they are, Shamble Chill. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. We're gonna mill them out, that's the new plan. Yep. Okay, we got Crippling Fatigue in the yard and Acorn Harvest. We can only flash back one of them unless we somehow gain some life here. Sure. Okay, sure. That's right, a, he's... That's a guy. He's mad about blood. <laughs> I'm mad. Mad about blood. This is he's, fucking game two. God damn it. <laughs> he's played a little too much Bloodborne, and he's just super pissed off about it. You know, I can relate to that. What do you got? Six mana for a uh, lightning axe? Sure. Really? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's just the way he wants to play it, I guess. I get our Shambling Shell back here. Play this thing. And I get to the snake land. Really, no. no, I wouldn't do that. Okay, sure. He's drawn through almost all of his deck. I guarantee you he has it. <laughs> what are the odds he's running more than like two of those? Okay, lightning axe down. Let's see if he has it. Pretty pretty happy I didn't uh all four of his Rakdos cards. <laughs> he needs him. He doesn't have it, alright. I've been wrong this whole time. Alright, so here comes uh we just Chamber Shell again. Sure. Creatures block. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's all we got. Here comes. Okay, sure. Here's the man. The man with the plan. Oh, this thing gets bigger too. This thing's really good, actually. Yeah. I didn't even consider this card at all. It was like three colors wall. Oh, is he sand? He was sand. Why would you lightning bolt that one? <laughs> All right, concede game. Yeah, sure. Sure, you got me. GG. All he right. just wants to hit you with his guy to make it bigger. Naturally. Do I want to bring a knot of the bone against him? Good. He has a lot of burn. Vampire Hounds is always just good shit. So it's really hard. Knot of the bone, I guess. Knot of the bone. No, I do. I'll take out one acorn harvest for the knot of the bone. Sure. Okay, here we go. New plan. We're on the play this time. We're allowing watchers. <laughs> You can watch this video as it's being made. Oh man, you history like, in the making. God, uh, you just never can hit that second land. Uh, we'll keep this one. Yeah, you can. You can still play the mongrel, and we got plenty of time to draw into a uh, black source that we're trying to hit. That's fine. I'm. I don't care. We're gonna eventually. We're gonna eventually hit it. <laughs> if we hit another land, even if it's a forest, we can start actually casting spells. The only thing we actually can't cast is Shadow Shell. And who needs it? Uh, do we want to play that right now? Uh, it's just Mongrel it up, man. I think so. I think so. 
Oh, we'll make him think we're color screwed, so it'd be like, oh, if you think I've worked in land destruction, then I'll turn out as off or not. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> this is the dumbest play, but I like it. No. I don't know. Um, I was thinking we could gap in Raiders next turn and possibly discard Shambling Chill to make it 3-3, three, three, but I guess Wild Mob Girl pushes more damage anyway, and if we hit an untapped source, we can Arrogant Worm. Sure. Tormenting voice. Okay. And he can't even manage it. No, it's just gonna go in the yard. So we're just gonna hit him for two. See, he's color screwed too, or he wants us to think we are. Why are you doing that? Oh, you can't anymore. Oh, click him, click him. Nope, can't anymore. Alright, so we wasted our man. Nope, we didn't. Uh, he's black now. <laughs> Cultural appropriation. Look at that. Boom. Suddenly, suddenly we got squirrels. <laughs> that wasn't a bad play. <laughs> Could have been worse. I always have good ideas. Lightning Axe discarding Fire Camper? Sure. What's that do? Five damage. But he has to discard a card pay an additional five. Okay. Which in his deck is quite good. Okay. So he's mad at Sing Fire Tapper Oh, okay. Uh, I thought he was lightning axing the squirrel and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. But, uh, okay, so. We still hit him for one. We still hit him for one. And, uh, let's go ahead and get him out. Raiders, I guess, right? Sure. Under the forest. Get us a little bit closer to madness. <laughs> How about? Uh, next turn, if we draw land, no, it's tough. We can only discard one card to the uh, Gather Riders. I agree. It's yeah, he's screwed on land. Got here. no black, but he's gonna. Fiery temper on that thing. Doesn't say that, so there's no point. Yeah, that's true. Kind of wish I played the Ancient Witch on now. You can drop the worm. Here he comes, the worm father. This guy's a bit land screwed right now. Can't feel good for him. But he has enough removal spells, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe. I love it when you call me Big Hinder Egg. Let's pay two. Here he is. <laughs> A thrilling a... conclusion. <laughs> it was all for nothing. Alright, now he's dead next turn. Exactly. So, let's go ahead and see if you get that swamp. Oh, don't forget the line. Oh, we yeah. We can do it. <laughs> we can actually right, do it. Alright, what was the line? It was like, looks like this time you actually busted. Looks like you bust. <laughs> oh, you revealed his hand. <laughs> This was asshole MTG with Dan Brown. <laughs> Drew nothing but black. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. That was bad. All right. Uh, no, that was perfect. That's exactly right. what I wanted. That was uh, match two with the Madness Brew. We'll see you next time for match three. Coming right up. Hopefully we'll play against Slog.deck. And uh, see ya. Adios.